Hey, back again on the Kohler, getting ready to uh, put the valve cover together. And this is going to take a little patience because you're going to have to let this sit up. But uh, they come with a cork gasket to replace it. But if you just put that cork gasket in it on these Kohlers, this particular one, Courage SB610, it's going to leak. So we've tried a couple different things. We've seen all the videos out there. Just use silicone, gasket maker, forget the cork. If you just put the cork in, it goes away. So Terrell has come up with this deal. He uses the right stuff, but I use Permatex uh, Ultra Copper. Doesn't really matter. But what you want to do is get you a good bead all the way around this valve cover on the inside, and then take your gasket, and you're going to lay it in here, and then put your bolts through and press down on the gasket, you know, and put your bolts in. You know, you're going to lay your gasket over here like this. Get the holes lined up and these gaskets are not perfect so they stretch a little bit so that's why you want to start your uh like put your bolt in one there and pull up and get this hole there you know get it all lined up good because what they're saying on these is the gasket usually doesn't leak it leaks out the cover but uh anyway just get put your screws in I know this looks backwards because this is the opposite of the way it would bolt on. So, but what we're going to do here, this is going to get the gasket all lined up like it needs to be. See, because on these, you can use the silicone, just silicone, but every time you have to go in and check the valves or adjust it, you're going to have to scrape all that silicone off and start all over. This way, uh, once this cures, the gasket will be up against the... Uh, valves i mean the housing and uh so when you're going to go take and service it you can just uh it'll pull off and it won't be stuck so now what you got you got these pressed down and just let it ooze out can't get too much go around and press on the gasket real nice you know go around real good make sure you got a good seal all right all right once you get that, then go back around the inside, and what's oozed out, scrape it along there. Kind of give it in a little more extra seal, you know. And then the thing about this is, uh, I think he was using this, uh, whatever it is, Permatex, uh, whatever. Anyway, this stuff needs to cure. So once it cures, which, you know, you really need to wait overnight. Cause you don't want to rush it so patience is a virtue on this but once it once it does cure then you're gonna these but these screws are probably going to be stuck in there a little bit so you're going to screw them out you know really carefully so you don't pull the gasket apart and then um then it'll be ready to mount to the lawnmower so uh that's just a little trick and i it's not mine i picked it up online so i can't take credit for it but i thought i would pass it on Jungle Bob out.